Hello! In this presentation, I will give you an overview of what are the recent developments in terms of numerical modeling of the rotor units here at Maha Fluid Power Research Center. The rotor units are a type of positive displacement machines mainly used for low pressure applications such as fuel injection systems, engine lubrication, power train, and charge pumps. Their success is related to their unmeasured reliability, low noise level, and low cost. Many limitations of these units are related to the low pressure level and relatively low efficiency. Like any other kind of positive displacement machines, these units are subject to volumetric and mechanical losses, among which we can name heat clearance and cross porting, fluid compressibility and axle gap, pumping losses and friction in the lubricated interfaces and between the gears. The motivations for the current research are an increase in demand for the pump manufacturers for virtual prototyping tools, a tool for an accurate prediction of the mechanical losses for sizing of motors in highly integrated electrohydraulic systems, the exploitation of the gerotor potential for the design of novel solutions, the identification of optimal and more efficient designs. The research goals are therefore the development of a simulation model for gerotor units that can be used for virtual prototyping and that can be inserted in a generic hydraulic system. In this figure, we can see the structure of the simulation model developed at Maha Fluid Power Research Center. The model is a multi-domain simulation tool comprising different submodules. The core of the simulation model is represented by the fluid dynamic module, which describes the main flow through the units and is based on a lamp parameter approach. The geometrical information required by the different submodules are provided by a custom-made geometrical model based on a numerical approach, which can take as inputs CAD data from the machines. Once the pressure distribution inside of the unit is known, a mechanical model is used to calculate the forces and torque acting on the gears. This information is passed to a journal bearing model used to evaluate the gear micromotion. Once the instantaneous position of the gears is known, the geometrical information is updated online. The lubricated interfaces are modeled using an accurate two-dimensional CFD model. To describe flow and friction in this interface, the Reynolds equation is solved and data are passed back to the fluid dynamic and mechanical models in an offline fashion. Finally, an advanced line EHL model, including non-Newtonian fluid behavior, is implemented. The model is used to calculate the friction coefficient between the gears for the prediction of the mechanical losses in the contact interface. Several units have been studied during the research project and the experiments performed have been used for the model validation. As it can be seen in this slide, the model is able to predict with very good accuracy the steady-state performance of the units in terms of delivery flow and pressure pairs, as well as the dynamic behavior related to pressure and flow fluctuation at the delivery. The current efforts are related to the accurate prediction of the mechanical losses in this kind of units. At the current stage, the model is able to identify the contributions of the different sources of losses as well as the impact of speed and load. The next steps of this research include the measurement of the film thickness between the outer gear and the casing in order to extend the model validation, and the design of innovative solution for axial and radial gap compensation. For any question, you can find more details by visiting the webpage of Maha Fluid Power Research Center or you can contact Dr. Andrea Vacca at avacca at purdue.edu. Thanks for watching.